All right, so today we are diving into Read Aloud For Me. Okay. This app claims it's the ultimate AI dashboard. Mm -hmm. Access to all major AI tools in one place. Yeah. Even for kids. I'm intrigued, I gotta say. It's ambitious. Very. It is. Trying to bridge that gap between like really complicated AI technology and everyday users, right. including children, yeah. this is fascinating. Yeah, and the developer, uh, Etienne Newman. Okay. He's a software engineer and a podcaster. Wow. So talk about someone who likes to stay busy. Seems passionate about making AI accessible, though. Absolutely. And the scope is what struck me. They're not just going with one or two AI tools. Right. This is a whole dashboard. Thought, yeah. It's like the Swiss Army knife of AI, both which has both, you know, pluses and minuses. Right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, but the, let's unpack some of the tools then. Let's do it. They say that the app is really focused on accessibility. Like its core function is using text to speech technology. Okay. But the languages that it supports, yeah. it's a ton. I mean, we're talking Africans to Zulu. Wow. That's not just like a, oh yeah, we support a couple of languages. Right. This is a whole buffet of languages. They've really gone up above and beyond with the language support. They have. And remember, they really highlight that they want to be able to support visually impaired users. Right. And by offering this level of language support, yeah. Yeah. that's really broadening the reach, totally. the potential impact on a global scale, really. And it's like they're building digital bridges between information and people. I like that. No matter what language you speak, <laughs> which is really cool. But okay, let's get into the AI tools. Okay, let's get into it. What have they got? Because there's a lot. Yeah. We're talking AI image generators, yeah. music composers. There's even one that analyzes your dreams. Whoa, hold on. Dream analysis. Dream analysis AI. Okay. I know, right? That's one to try. Sign me up. But no, they even have Sora for oh. text to video. Have you heard about this? A bit, yeah. So I was reading about Sora the other day, and it's supposed to be revolutionary in creating these photorealistic videos, but you just use text prompts. Right. And to have that power at your fingertips is kind of mind-blowing. It is, and it speaks to the potential here. Right. Because Sora is cutting-edge AI. It is. And if they can integrate that and make it user-friendly, mm -hmm. that's game-changing. So they're taking these incredibly complex systems, these AI systems, and making them so that you and I could use them. Exactly. Even if we weren't like, you know, super tech savvy. Which is where it gets really interesting. Right. Because by breaking down those barriers, yeah. they're not just providing tools. Right. They're potentially fostering creativity and innovation on a much wider scale. It's true. You know, imagine somebody who always wanted to make a movie, right. but never had the technical skills, Yeah, Sora, through this app, could change that. Wow. Yeah, you're right. So it's like they're democratizing these technologies. Yeah. And it's not just Sora. I mean, they're talking about some big names. Like who? Well, I saw Eleven Labs mentioned. Ah, yeah. So Eleven Labs, known for its voice cloning technology, everyone uses them. Like game developers, filmmakers, you know it. Right. So to have that as part of this, mm -hmm. it just opens up a whole other world of what you can do. Yeah. It's, voice cloning is pretty wild. It is. And a little scary, to be honest. Yeah. Like, what could go wrong? Right. Yeah. Pranks, deep fakes, I don't it's know. It's a double-edged sword. For sure. Yeah. But they really seem to emphasize that the app is secure and private. Okay. Like, throughout all the stuff they put out about the app, they mention it a lot. Interesting. No tracking, constantly, like, making sure that your data is secure. Okay. Even saying, like, hey, parents, don't worry, your kids can use this. Mm. Which is interesting because they seem to be really pushing that whole family-friendly thing. Yeah. We've got the AI games, bedtime stories. That's a bold move, right? <laughs> it is. Trying to make AI appealing to kids. It is, and it kind of speaks to that larger trend right. of getting STEM to younger and younger kids. Yeah. And AI is a part of that, but- Of course. You gotta do it right. Yeah, for sure. It can't just be some kind of, you know, flashy gimmick. Right, yeah. It has to be educational and engaging. Totally. And it's not about, you know, teaching kids to code AI at five years old. Right. It's about that curiosity. Of course. Yeah. Getting them thinking about the possibilities. Exactly. And who knows, maybe an AI bedtime story is the thing that gets them into tech. There you go. Exactly. So I like that. But security and privacy, though. Yeah. Important for everyone, not just kids, right? For everyone, absolutely. But they make all these claims, right? but are they actually following through? Yeah, are they walking the walk? Right, exactly. Should we look into that? I think we should dig into their privacy policy. 
Okay. Let's see if they're actually doing what they're saying. All right. Transparency. Yeah. Love it. But speaking of transparency, yeah. they got a free version of the app and a pro version. Okay. Pretty standard. Yeah. Pretty standard these days. What do you think? Well, it's the classic freemium model, right? Right. Which is a delicate balance yeah. because the free version's probably going to have some limitations. For sure. Like ads, maybe, or... Ads, limited features, right? And That's then right. the pro version will be the whole shebang. Right. The whole nine yards. No ads. Right. And they say you can support the developer. Which is nice. Which is cool. But I think the big question is, yeah, how good is the free version? Is it good? Exactly. Is it worth using? Or are they just dangling the pro version in front of you? Right. Are they just teasing you? Yeah. To try and get you to upgrade? Exactly. Because from what we've seen, the app seems pretty impressive. They've got a lot in there. A uh, lot of different tools. It's a lot, yeah. Accessibility, trying to make it easy to use, family-friendly content, privacy, security. Right. They're aiming high. They are. But there's one more thing I wanted to talk about. Okay. What's that? This AI Daily Chronicle. The what? The AI Daily Chronicle. So they're summarizing like yeah. AI news and developments okay. and putting it in the app. Interesting. It's like a mini AI news hub right in the app. Interesting. I know. I'm kind of into it. What do you think? I think it's smart, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, because one of AI's biggest challenges, right, is how fast it moves. Oh, for sure. What's cutting edge now is old news, like tomorrow. Right, exactly. So if they're offering this AI Daily Chronicle, yeah. they're giving people a way to keep up That's true. with the latest advancements, the trends, Absolutely. even just like the controversies. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the tools. They want to build AI literacy. Right, because we haven't really seen that in a lot of AI acts. No. They're just like, here's the tool, go figure it out. Listen, but this th is different. This is about empowering the user. Yes. Not just equipping them, right? Right. So if they can actually deliver good content, informative content, yeah. that's huge. That bridges the knowledge gap. Yeah, it's like they're trying to demystify AI, yeah. right? Make it less scary. Exist Make it so that all of us can understand a bit more. 100%. Which I think is a good thing. I think so too. So, okay, we've <laughs> talked about accessibility, this big toolbox of AI tools. We've covered a lot. Family friendly, trying to make it secure and private, and now staying up to date with the AI Daily Chronicle. It's a lot. They're aiming high. They are. It's ambitious. It is. And I don't know. We're excited to see what happens. It's still early. Yeah. And, you know, healthy dose of skepticism is always good. But of course. It's compelling, right? This is a case study in how to make AI more approachable. Totally. More inclusive, more beneficial for a wider audience. 100%. But can they pull it off? That's the million dollar question. Yeah. And that's where you come in, dear listeners. Yes. We want to know what you think. Does this app live up to the hype? Download it. Download, read aloud for me, try it out. Let us know. Is it the ultimate AI toolbox? Is it everything it claims to be? Hit us up on social. Hit us up on social media. Tell us your thoughts. And until next time, happy diving.